Today I want to talk about some of my cars that I have that I've acquired over the years. So I have the new edition Rustler 4x4 that I've already modified. I bought the two the brushed version because I didn't want to pay that extra two hundred and some odd dollars for the Valenium system. Because I was just going to tear the Valenium system out. You can see that I put some holes in the body for, for airflow. And the body is not easy to get on and off. But right now I am running a Mambo Max. I mean a Mambo X. At 3800 kV motor. I am running 4S on it. I had to get a battery strap set up here because the stock wrestler battery tray only kind of requires 2S and 3S, so I had to kind of get that. Other than that, everything else is stock. I'm running the stock drive lines. They seem to be holding up. I do have MIPs for them. I found out that the slash MIPs will fit in here. Same with the Stampede 4x4s. Here is my slash. I did this one for speed. It is Mambo X, also 3800 kV. And it has hot racing shocks, has hot racing sway bars, 17 millimeter MIP drive. Well, adapters with drive lines with X01 wheels and a Trinity cage. Here is one of my Rustler I mean Revo 2.0 it is modified also it has a stock ESC it seems to do be very good I am running a castle fan and the shocks were junk so I put the the Nitro Revo GTR shocks on it they seem to hold up a lot better so I'm running some caps so it doesn't freak out on me I'm running two Savox servos because the other ones are junk and I have the Summit bumper the amount on the front summer bumper will fit on it but it won't flip over very well because it gets hung up on the bumper here is my summit it has a castle christian mambo max x x edition with a 2200 kv motor uh the motor in esc is set at 50 percent because i found out if it's at a hundred percent then it blows diffs, even the hot racing diffs, it'll eat them up. Has a two speed, you know, two speed transmission, front and rear lockers. It has the Traxxas Revo tires on, they're kind of garbage, but for right now, that's all I had. I put the, the swampers that were on the summit on this Revo. This is a Revo 2.0, same kind of setup as that one. And yeah, this one has the Savox servos also waterproof. It's all waterproof. I've drawn it through a creek or two, but it's not good on them. And then we move on to my X Maxes. I have two of them too. One has they both have the indestructible body, and this one has. The Castle Creation Mambo XXL or something, I think. And it has a Mod 1 setup with a, I think a, it's like a 40 tooth to 50, I mean 45 tooth to a 54 tooth. Them are all hardened steel gears. It's running a Star Trek motor that's 780 kV. I only run 4S on this. This will do over 60 miles an hour, no problem. It has the Proline Bad Wan wheels. It's, it used to be a 6S X Max, 
but I converted it to 8S. Uh, I still am running the stock rear half from the S6S. I just bought the, instead of the center diff, it has a solid center, whatever you want to call it. It's not a center diff, it's just straight and it doesn't, you know, both wheels spin at the same time. But I did upgrade to the, the 8S drive lines for the 6S ones are garbage. It has a T-bone bumper with the skids. Has the nit uh, titanium coated shocks. I was breaking those, and has their destructible body from Russia. It takes about a month to get those, but they're well worth it. This is the first one I had. I've had this one for two years and it's still holding up great. A couple holes in the back from, you know, dragging, but this is my other one. It's pretty stock. This is an 8S, but it has this, I put the 1600 KV motor in it. And it has uh, the Hobby Wing Max 5. Um, I didn't like the, I think it's like a, 1200 kV motor that the AS comes with the 1600 kV motor puts out more power more speed I Was running a max 5 in this one, but mm, I wanted to try the castle Anyways, it's basically stock you can see I need new tires. I glue them and glue them and glue them, but they keep blowing out so That's about it they're both good trucks. This one doesn't go as fast as that one, but this one is fun too. And downstairs I have a, uh, two stampedes that are all tricked out with roll cages. And I have two drift cars, but I'm not going to show them in this. But I just wanted to give a couple tips on this. If you are like me and don't want to spend the money to buy... The Millennium system just get the brushed system and you can always update upgrade these things and, and all that But you're actually paying about 200 and some odd dollars just for the Millennium system Which basically almost everything is the same besides a couple parts like the center drive line is not the aluminum one and it has and these were adjustable on the other one, but I've been running this probably 60 70 miles an hour and I haven't broke anything. Besides, the motor gets a little hot because I haven't put. A, I just barely put the fan on. But then I drilled some holes in the sides, and that should help. Anyways, I'm running some 4S batteries, some uh, five five thousand milliamp batteries, Trinity, and a different one. You know, and then these even run really good in it. These fit really nice in it. So like to give some tips you know you know this is my summit two revos and it's Russ, uh, rustler and a slash and two x maxes just some pointers just to let you know it is very very hard to get mod one gears that will work with this and I have a spiden motor mount uh, so, yeah, I looked everywhere. I found these gears on, actually, I think it's AliExpress. Yeah, you just type in 8mm Mod 1 gears and it pulls this up. They're pretty nice. They're hardened and all that. So, I tried Kershaw, but I can't get anything to order off of them. Like, their they're things like froze or something. And I go through all the process and go to pay and it won't let me. So I had to go somewhere else. Or I would have went there. Right now my, my slash is put top speed is probably 70 miles an hour. Which is kind of crazy. It gets going really fast. These are all stock gearing and everything. Because I use those for jumping and flying over things. That one is broken. The rear shock and came off these are the stock ones jumped it out of the skate part pole and broke it that one 
Everything's pretty in stock except motor, electronics, and a couple other things in the roll cage. But yeah, these are pretty fun. I drive mostly these, and that, and that, and that. Not so much that. I only drive that occasionally. So, sorry to get the video kind of long. This is my first upload on all my RC cars. I just thought I'd give some pointers and all that, you know. This is my new edition Rustler. I've been having lots of fun. Tires aren't too bad on them. They don't balloon very much, which is pretty nice. So I haven't got them off the rim or anything yet. So I really like the black wheels. Uh, the VXL comes with the, I think the chrome, the smoked chrome or something. But this one I only pay like $249. And the VXL one's around 400 and something, so. And then I just went and basically dumped the money into the good electronics. I always have problems with the VXL system. They always burn out. But anyways, I went to the Mambo X, so. I really like this controller. It can hand, the ESC can handle up to 6S. And the motor usually can handle up to 4S. But all most I do is 4S, so. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching and signing out, KB2DJ. Bye.